Every video game has a form of progression, something that you're climbing up towards some sort of goal or um, ultimate purpose that you're trying to attain, and uh, that's what makes video games so addicting, at least to me, is um, in, in real life, when you're trying to, you know, get better at school or get better at your job or, like, make more friends or whatever, there's not a very clear sense of direction oftentimes. There's not like one obvious path that you can just progress in to be like, all right, I just got to do these things and then I, you know, can get to this social status or whatever. It's a lot more like convoluted and arbitrary and it's hard to find your way. But in a video game, progression is built into the game mechanics. It's just inherent. And, uh, you know, in most games, you're climbing up level by level. You know, you're getting to more and more difficult uh, areas and uh, fighting harder enemies and stuff. But you're also getting, like, more strong and uh, unlocking new mechanics and stuff. You know, maybe you start off as a, a very simple merchant and by the end of the game, you're like a, a master archer who can, you know, take down the biggest bosses in the world. Um, that's kind of like some more traditional forms of progression, but in Rocket League, um, there aren't any levels that you're trying to get up towards. It's not like you start off at a level one where you physically can't jump, and then like you get to level 10 and all of a sudden they allow you to aerial. The second you start up Rocket League, after you get through the tutorial, everything's unlocked. The, f the progression is not unlocking new mechanics, it's not getting to new levels, you know, you you immediately can s just jump into a match and start playing other people. The progression actually, and I, I this is such a unique thing to me, psychologically, um, just in terms of game design, the progression in Rocket League is literally the game mechanics. It's the player learning how to do what they already can do. Um, what's interesting about that is that that means that you are entirely in control of how far you progress in Rocket League. It is whatever you put in is what you get out. So if when I started out playing Rocket League, I hated this game because I felt like I couldn't do anything. I just felt like I was terrible about the most basic things like just trying to hit the ball forward and like do really all like that goal that I just whiffed, for example. Um, yeah. Um, great. <laughs> Please don't tell me I'm gonna do it again. Please don't tell- <laughs> Anyway, all that I was trying to say is that at the beginning of the game, you feel like you're not very far along in progressing because you can't do any of the most basic things. But it's not because you haven't unlocked anything. It's literally just because you're not physically capable of exploiting the mechanics that you're already given to their fullest. And then, for the rest of- uh, it, the hours that you put into this game, as much time you put in is what you get out. And you know, that just makes me wonder, like, what other games would look like with that type of progression in them? Like, what would a shooter look like where you're immediately from the very beginning of the game able to, like, pretty much kill anything, and you have, like, all the guns unlocked, and it's just a matter of learning how to use them to their fullest potential. Like, you literally have, like, an insane movement mechanic where you can grapple around and like quadruple jump and I don't know whatever whatever you can think of um and you have like 20 different guns and it's just a matter of like learning how to use them in good like at the right moments or something I don't know it just there's so much creativity that could be had in that it's so frustrating when video games kind of like try to artificially add progression into the game and it almost gets in the way of the enjoyment of it. Like, um, when you have to grind a hundred levels in an RPG just to get a certain sword or whatever. And it's like, why, why do I have to spend all this time doing a repetitive thing that I'm not actually enjoying doing just so that I can, like, level up to get to the part that I enjoy? But then, like, you spend more time doing that than actually, quote-unquote, playing the game because that becomes all that the game's about. Anyway, rant over. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to get at is just I think it's such an interesting way to progress in a game and 
it'd be worth putting some thought into how that might look in other games and in my own games as well like i think it would be so much fun to just give the player everything from the get-go and see what they do with it anyway that's about all i had for this one i guess let me know what you think if you could apply this sort of philosophy to other games or how that might look even i don't know hopefully that was interesting to think about